The title of this lesson is Place and Value Through the Thousands. Don't forget to write the title and the date at the top of your notes. How can we determine the place and value of a digit through the thousands? First of all, what is a digit? A digit is a symbol used to write a number. The 10 digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Notice that the number 10 is not a digit. The value of each digit depends on its place in a number. You have learned about the ones, tens, and hundreds places. Here are two different numbers written using place value charts. As you can see, the six is in the tens place, so it has a value of 60. The two is in the ones place. It has a value of two. Together, these digits make the number 62. In the next number, you see that the digit three is in the hundreds place. This means it has the value of 300. The digit one is in the tens place, so it has a value of 10. The digit four is in the ones place, so it has a value of four. Together, these three digits make the number 314. Now we're going to be learning about the thousands place. The thousands come after the hundreds. As you can see, the comma separates the thousands from the hundreds. Always say the word thousand when you see the comma. In this number, the digit four is in the thousands place. Its value is 4,000. The digit six is in the hundreds place. Its value is 600. The digit two is in the tens place. Its value is 20. The digit nine is in the ones place. Its value is nine. Together, these four digits form the number 4,629. Throughout this lesson, you have heard us talk about place and value. Place is where the digit lives. For example, the digit four in the number below lives in the thousands place. Value is how much the digit is worth. For example, the digit four has a value of 4,000. As you can see, place and value are two different things. In this lesson, you learned how to determine the place and value of a digit through the thousands.